I know Janali's here from yesterday. Bit of a sort of um, like what is going on, Annette? I know, I know, right? I'm just going to fix up the camera a little bit because I wasn't planning to come on today. But then I thought, oh, my God, I'm going to get up early and show you all something. Like, I'm up early. Good morning, whoever is here. Hi, Haley. Hi, Sarah. Mm, sorry, fixing my camera. I'm going to be a bit crooked. How's that sound? How are you guys going? Hi, Judith. Hi, Reborn Mama. Hi, Marie. It's like a complete surprise, isn't it? It's like a complete surprise. It's Saturday here. It's Saturday. Oh, my God. Hi, Sarah. Oh, my God. Now, just bear with me because I really need to get this camera on a good angle for you guys. Hi, Willow. Hi, Plummy Rose. Hi, Katie. Who else is here? Hi, Terry. Look at all you guys here. Hi, Carmel. I better put that. I'm going to put these out of the way because it's not, they were here yesterday and they are here still from yesterday. Um, but this is not about that. It's about something else. Some of you might know, but whoever knows, don't say anything. You made it to my first live stream yesterday. Yes, you were here yesterday. I was thinking when I saw your name, I think first, I've seen you before. Hi, A to Z. You totally went, oh, wow, that's so cool. Can you have a shout out for being the first one here? Sarah Jane Creswell was the first one here. Look at that. Congratulations. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Georgia. I'm not selling any reborns. No, I'm not. Not today. Well, I don't anyway. I do, but like they're all on order type of thing. This is just like a really random thing. You know, totally random. I totally, completely, pretty much. Anyway, I did something yesterday and I found something. I found something. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because, <laughs> that's okay, Sarah, because most of you guys are like my best friends. I love you so much. And I can't go through life not sharing things with you. It's just not even possible. So I thought, well, what am I going to do? I've got to share it with my besties. Hayley said, can I have a shout out? I was the second person. Hayley Callahan was the second person here. Kudos to you guys for just being there waiting, <laughs> just randomly waiting for me to pop up. I know you weren't, but hi, Desiree. You love surprises. Oh, you love me more. Oh, that is so sweet. That is really sweet. Well, you know, I was thinking about you. I was going to, I was going to come on late last night. Um, Oh, gee, I'm, I'm going to be thirsty this morning because I do not have a drink ready. Anyway, I was going to come on late last night, but I thought a lot of you guys might still be asleep and I wanted to come on a time when generally everyone would come on. I know no one is kind of expecting me today, but yeah. Okay, don't, yeah, lips are sealed. Good on you, Re Reborn Mama. She saw what yous are about to see on my Patreon. She saw it there and, um, and yeah, she was lucky because it was the only people, I didn't tell anyone else, the only people who are on my Patreon, if you want to join on my Patreon, you've got to follow, go to Patreon and go to Miracle Babies Nursery, which is the same name as my YouTube down there somewhere. Anyway, um, could be on that side who knows but anyway if you want to follow me on patreon sometimes you get to see little things like this sarah said oh my god oh my god i love you so much you're such an inspiration thank you and sarah the other sarah has said how are you i love your videos thank you so much your lips are sealed good Haley. thank you oh i am tired I might be, people might not even come because I had come on extra early. I mean, this is like, it's just, it's 6.40 a.m. in the morning here. I normally don't even come on till 8.30. Ten Tiny Toes, hello. And Plummy said, I have not seen it yet. I was busy baking cupcakes. Well, that's good. I hope you've made me one. Yvette, Yvette, how are you? Did you see Matilda's second video and pictures yet? I saw I, the video yesterday you sent me where you put on her beautiful Dutch outfit. That's all I've seen so far. If you sent anything through the night, I probably missed it because I was asleep. But um, I will have a look after I get off this stream. 
Well, I said, just completed my first reborn creation using your tutorials. You love her. That is so wonderful. Sarah says it's England. In England, it's nine o'clock. Oh, and Willow said completed the micro reading. You know, I'm like, when I'm on my tail, I'm back here on him. So I worked lots on him yesterday. Hi, Beach Baby. Awesome to you too, Yvette. Tommy said, wow, over 6.55 p.m. on Friday night. You going out Friday night? You going out dancing or something? 4.41 p.m. Friday. And Haley says, where I live, it is 4.42. Ten Tiny Toes says, perfect, because I've gotten home from school. Well, and that's perfect, isn't it? I'm still going to be a bit tired because you know what? The serious thing is, is all I was thinking about was you guys. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Victoria, I know you've been talking to Leslie lately. Are you able to at all give her a quick message to tell her Annette's on live? Because I forgot to let her know. I don't know if she's here or not. But anyway. Hi, Tiffany. Um, Yeah, so anyway, I was kind of tossing and turning like the last few hours thinking, I just want to get on. I just want to talk to everyone. So like I've got a mini headache at the moment because I wasn't sleeping very well. Thanks, Victoria. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, mini headache because all I did was think about you guys. So I'm like, ah, my God. So I probably look half asleep because I haven't. I've only been up for like 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yep. Not even that. Oh, my God. <sighs> so anyway. I better, I better show you. I better show you. I'm going to get things ready. Anyway, yesterday afternoon, here's a story for you guys. I know you're going to be talking, but I might not answer everyone, okay? I love you, though, and I appreciate what you're saying. Sarah has just said, I'm having a hard time trying to paint reborn hair. I'm just not getting it. Yours are so beautiful. Indeed, help. I'm from Colombia. Have Okay, Um, have you... I've done one that's like a simple one, which is just a paintbrush that you sort of swirl around. But if you look at some of my last ones, I think it is with, um, sorry, when I was painting Hope um, not long ago. The last, some of the last tutorials of her, I'm doing like a, a bit, it's a painted hair, but I think it's a little bit easier than the one I call the easier one. I don't know if you've looked at that. Haley said, I had a headache doing math at school. I can understand that. I would have a, he have a headache doing math. And <laughs> Terry says, I know, I know. If it says it's 10.45 here in the Netherlands, cool. Wow, you must be nearly ready for bed. I bet Matilda's asleep. Oh, for anyone who doesn't know, um, most of you will know my Reborn World Traveller is Matilda. Matilda, my beautiful baby girl, is now in the Netherlands with Yvette right as we speak. She's been there for almost a week now, isn't it? Um, and, um, oh, it's just amazing. It's so amazing. She's been all over the world. And I just have, I've already loved so far what Yvette has done for me. I oh, thank you, Victoria. Sarah said, okay, I will not give up. Thank you. Good. Don't give up. Never give up. No one ever give up on reborning because it gets better. It just keeps getting better. Beach Baby said, said, I have trouble too, Sarah, with painting. I find using prime color pencil first. I do that too. You know, I use my Prisma color pencils first. Um, Plummy said, I mean, wake up. Sorry. Ready for bed, Sarah. No, I don't have a baby for under 150. It cost me even more to make it. Sometimes the hair alone costs me that. I buy really expensive stuff. Sarah said you're sleepy, but you love your channel too much. Yeah, hold on for a bit. Just hold on. Okay, so I'm going to cut to the chase. So anyway, yesterday afternoon, I was out with Tiana and um, we were doing driving lessons, trying to teach her to drive in her car, not mine. So anyway... Um, it was in the afternoon and it was pretty busy, busy afternoon. So I took her down some like, well, you could call them back streets. Um, 
but it's in these streets which lead down to what is called the botanical gardens um now it's a, it's a long road um no long windy road no lights um no street lights nothing so if you went through there at night it's pitch black like pitch black it's not like country australia or anything it's just it's just sort of like untouched it's not it's not like um, mainstream, so to speak. So anyway, we were driving down there and I had just gotten to where the botanical gardens were and I pulled in to the botanical gardens and that's where Tiana was going to do some clutch work on her car. And she said, oh my God, oh my God, there's a little animal. There's an animal outside and it looks, it looks hurt, like someone's run over it or something. So I said, okay, Tiana, is it, okay, is it important? I said, is it important or, or what? Do I have to go back? She said, go back. So I went back and there was this little critter and I cat caught it. Okay, so I'm, I've got it here now to show you all. So I'm going to get it out and show you. So you just excuse me for a moment. Hey, baby. Oh, come here, little fella. Come here. So just give me a, a moment. I don't want to frighten it or anything like that. So I'm going to take things quiet. Tomorrow you visit the Dutch Mill and the beach with Matilda. On bicycles, that's so cool, I cannot wait. Hello, little. Hello, come. Oh, honey, come here. Come here. That's it. Come on. Say hello to everyone. Say hello. Hey. This is a possum, and we were reading a possum story yesterday. For all those who were here with me yesterday, we were reading a story about a possum. It's this little possum. How you going? Say hello. He is so, 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 so soft. Really soft. Hey. You want a little treat, don't you? I'll give you a treat in a minute. He's very soft. And I checked him all over. He doesn't seem to be hurt. Oh, is he a little tongue there? Doesn't seem... This is a sugar glider possum from what I can guess. So this may not be a baby. It may be fully grown. I'm, I'm not really a big wildlife expert, from, but from what I can see, sugar glider. Um, he does have, like, between his arms and that, he does have like this webbing part a bit i do have some special things for you okay oh yes wee time he's just done a wee i know just done a wee it's all right did you do a wee looks like a grown sugar yes it it probably is hi leslie i'm glad you came when she, you said you weren't coming till later i thought oh no so, <laughs> come here, Ooh, come here, I know it's not nice being stuck to, to me, uh, I'm sorry, I just don't want you to be stuck on there, grab on my, uh, my hand here, like this, grab on here, grab on here, you need to let go here. He's really holding onto my shirt. But I don't want to pull him. He's not like a, our cats or anything like that. I want to be very gentle. They are very social. He is very social. You're totally stuck there. What are you holding on to? Let go. There we go. There we go. It's all right. It's all right. Hey. These are lots of friends for you. So I've looked him over and he doesn't appear to be hurt in any way. 
everything seems fine but when I found him when I actually picked him up he was in this middle of the road and he was bounding so sort of like bound 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 and um, he looked very frightened and I thought it was just a baby at the time whoops so I am um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of honey okay so I am um, I know here yeah. you show everyone how you love your honey so I sh I um I checked around to see if there was any mummies or anything like that. But there was nothing like that, of course. You right? So this morning I'm going to take him to the wildlife hospital. And they will make sure he gets safely back into the wild that everything's okay you don't want to eat that he's having some breakfast yes he's having some breakfast so he's got a long tail it's a bit wet because he weed on it You like that? Look at his tongue. It's so cute. How cute. Hungry little guy. Is there any more honey on the back of that? He's just having a bit of honey, actually. Honey and water. I'll give him some more just in case he's a bit thirsty. I'll give him some water. What's this here? Yeah, they say that they've got, because they've got thumbs like us, it's very cute to watch them eat anything because they'll sit there and grab them. You're welcome. I mean, I always want to show you guys Australian wildlife, um, but of course it doesn't come that easy. Hang on, I've got some more, some more water. <laughs> no I wish I could keep him I would love to keep him but actually in the state I live it's illegal to have to keep them and you know it's not my place either you know he's probably you know should be back in the wild you know I'd love to but I'm gonna put some of this special honey water on some carrots and celery so hopefully you'll eat some of that hang on hang on <laughs> he's just too cute you know he's so cute <laughs> i can see you there but yeah if I could keep it I would but it's not my place is it you're supposed to be eating the carrot not just licking the honey water at least he's getting some water <laughs> He's enjoying his breakfast. It's like he just wants to lick every last little bit of it. You're supposed to eat the carrot though. So yeah, he's he's doing well. Sorry, did I touch your tail while you're eating? <laughs> Look at his little hands. 
he's on holiday, yes. I'm going to be sad to, to hand him over this morning. I know that. I just got it off the road, so I was worried that it was hurt or something. So if I knew that he was okay, you're in New Zealand at the moment, Mel? Wow. Yeah, if I knew that he was okay, I would have just gone and put him in a tree close by. Um, but I didn't. I thought he was hurt and I thought it was a baby, but I think he may be an adult. Did you drink it all? It's a possum. He's like, what are you saying? I'm a possum. Hey, what are you looking at? Do you looking at yourself thinking, wow, this is really cute. I'm so cute. Okay. I do have some more, some more water if you want some more water. Hang on. Here. Yeah. Do you want some more water? Yours are very mean. New meaning to miracle babies. Yeah, that's amazing, Mel. I'm just going to let him do what he wants to do. You're probably thinking, where are all the trees? Where's all the trees? Hello to everyone. Hmm? You want to cuddle? Snuggle up, snuggle up. <laughs> so cute. His belly is nice and full now. He's had a nice drink of honey water. Are you sleepy now? Are you sleepy now? No, oh, so cute. Okay, Tiffany said they have sugar gliders there too as exotic pets. I've always wanted a pair, but their dietary needs are very specific. Yes, they are. That's why I couldn't even keep it really if I wanted to. I don't want it, you know. I don't. He can't live on honey alone. And he's already being fussy and not eating his veggies and fruit. Um, hang on, has he had... See if he'll eat any banana. I probably won't. Do 
want any banana? It's good. It's it's sweet as well. It's a fussy. It's yum. And I know if I laced it with honey, it would just lick it. How naughty are you already? Hey? I think this particular type is really, I mean, in the beginning, generally, it would be scared. Um, but they're a very sociable animal, so. You want to adventure, don't you? And that time his belly's full. I, uh, Edie said, oh my God, yours are so cute. I have to admit, ours are not. Are yours possums or opossums? They're possums. Or oh, this is a sugar glider. I wouldn't say he's been around people. I mean, literally where I got him, it's not very... There's not a lot of people around. You know what I mean? It's more bush. Where are you looking to go? Whoops, okay. I don't know what he's wanting to do. Okay, Edie. Yeah, I guess he, it, there's always a chance he could be a pet. Ship him to you. He's cute though. It makes up for the naughty. Yes. He's pretty freaking cute. Absolutely. you got to show your son. Yes. Bye, Georgia. Bye, Sarah. He is exploring. Look at him. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> He's like, do I go down in here or not? What are you doing? It's like he's got his head in the sand. If you're trying to find like a nice place to snuggle, I can make you a nice place to snuggle in there. Mm. Look at poop. Yeah. Here's a sugar glider. Yep, he is a sugar glider. Well, from what I can work out anyway. Our possums look very similar, so, um, but they, they get bigger. So it was hard to know whether he was a baby possum or a sugar glider, but I'm pretty sure he's a sugar glider. What do you want to do? I don't know whether you want to adventure or find a little cozy place to sleep. You might be trying to keep away from the light a bit. Eddie said, my son that works for NASA would be so in love. He adores them. Does yours have a smell? It does have a smell. It's not bad or anything, though. It just smells like animally. Yvette says, I have to go. Matilda is ready to have a sleep. 
I have to get some sleep. Big kiss to Mr. Snuggles. Bye, Annette. Bye, everyone. Bye, Yvette. Thanks for dropping in, and I'll have a look at those videos and pictures. Thank you so much for sending them. Heidi said, I so want one. Friends of mine have several. They breed. Really? I really wish we could have something like this here. Yeah, I think he's going to sleep. I think he's trying to get away from that light over there. Maybe I'll turn it off, hey? There we go. That might be a bit better for you. Um, I found it on the side of the road. So this morning, I'll take it to the wildlife hospital. Just so they can make sure it gets back to where it needs to be. It's smuggling its head in there. It's smuggling. Okay, Heidi, thanks for coming. It's really snuggling in there. Probably can hear my heartbeat. So anyway, what's everyone doing? Today's Friday night for you. Has anyone got any great plans? I'll take him this morning. I've got to take Tiana to work at 9 o'clock. So I'll take her then. Take it then. Yes, absolutely, Edie, I will. Sleepy. Sleep, yep. It's like I've had my morning drink. It's time for me to sleep. It's nice and warm and snuggly there at least. He's found his place. Yeah, <laughs> I certainly will. I'll make sure I get a picture of, of him for you all. Tiffany said, sleep, no, 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 LOL, sleep. It is big Friday night plans. Oh, that sounds exciting. So what are you doing? keeps licking it is a possum a sugar glider possum okay should we poop on the ground a little bit <laughs> he's sleeping yes let him have a little sleep and we'll get him out again it is awesome it's very awesome okay Mel have a really good holiday in New Zealand He's just rolled over on his side. He does love the body heat. He's so Baby. Has he got onto my neck? I see him. Baby. Oh, I want to keep him. Why do I have to let him go?
He's certainly liking that. That's for sure. Camera up again. It's eating my necklace. They are adorable creatures. How cute. How freaking cute. I just think it's so weird that yesterday I was reading a possum story to you all. And then I find a possum in the afternoon. Can You can come and hold him. get a little bit more comfy I'm not close to Perth well I am not that far away um it's true and find the story Mel who was here before she lived in Perth I live over the other side of Australia so she's in a western in western Australia which is like a five-hour flight My God, this thing has totally gone to sleep. Totally gone to sleep. Are we waking up to see everyone again? Was that just a little mini sleep? Come on, everyone wants to see you. It's like I'm half asleep. Let me go to sleep. I'm sure you'll get to sleep in darkness all day. At the little hospital. No, it's not an opossum. They are different though. Oh, are they, Sarah? Come on. What do you want to do all of a sudden? Hey? What do you want to do? Do you want to stay warm and snuggly or do you want to adventure? Everyone's saying he wants to sleep. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You just ignore that. What do you want to do? Hi, Hannah. Is that a furry tails? 
this one's just been weed on a little bit so it's not as all fluffy as it normally would be yeah with the sugar glider Yeah, you know what you want, don't you? Hang on. Hang on. Oh my goodness, calm down. He saw it? Are you really sure? That's so cool. I didn't see that, Jordan. Thank you so much. Sorry, Judith. Jordan's having a better day today. That is really good to hear. Will was actually at a party last night and um, came home just so he could spend some time with it. He's wrapped. He loves it. And he said, before I leave this morning, he wants to make sure he says goodbye. And Amy came over last night and had a hug, cuddle. What was that little squeak? Hannah said, wow, you are striking in the blue. Sorry, I can't, I would like read your message, but I can't go back. Edie said, so glad Jordan is having a better day. Prayers on wings. Judith said, sorry. Like I said, I, uh, my hands are taken up at the moment, so I can't see messages unless they pop up in front of my face. Judith said, oh, that's so sweet. And she said, thank you to Edie and Precious. And someone's camping at the moment. I miss that. And Nana's nursery is camping at the moment. That is so cool. Yeah, wouldn't it be amazing if I could ship him? Well, he is good at eating, but the fact is he's not eating his veggies. All he's doing is licking. I've got some honey water in there, and he's just licking that. Well, hang on. No, see, it would be good to see him have something. He's just licking the water, which tells me he's being a fuss pot. That is so cool. Have fun camping. Oh, Hannah said, wow, you are striking in blue today. And that animal. Sorry, keeps going away. I have to wait until it pops back up. Pop up so I can read the rest of their message. Sorry, Hannah, I know you're trying to say something to me. You finished with that? And the animal is so cute and amazing. Oh, okay, thank you so much. He's lucky he found me. Could have been de dehydrated, that's possible. I'm pushing messages up. Well, it's okay. Nana said, why, thank you. Kind of windy and chilly, but it's warm at the campfire. That sounds lovely. Perfect for this little guy. It's, it's just a sugar glider. You want to go back and have a snuggle again. He likes that snuggle. After another drink, he'll be like, yep, I'm, I want to go to sleep again. 
Yep, he's almost like almost. You want him to in. And Nana said, so glad to hear you're feeling better. Jordan. Well, that's Judith, that's mum. And Jordan is the child who we love. Hannah said, hello, Anne. Haven't met you in ages on chat. How are you? Oh, that's lovely. Anne said, are you going to let him go? They could have babies. Um, I'm going to take him to the um, animal, the wildlife hospital this morning just to give him a check over because when I found him, I wasn't sure if he was okay or not. So I'll take him to the wildlife hospital and I'll tell them where I actually got him from and they usually release them if they're all safe and healthy they release them back where they were found so hopefully um um he'll get back into his little social group there and he's just had a little mini holiday that he can go and tell everyone about what you doing i think he's a little star What do you want to do? You love him too. He is cute. No, there's only um two states in Australia where you can actually have them as pets. And Queensland, where I am, isn't one of them. So I can't keep him... As much as we would love to. Are you listening very carefully with those ears? You can still snuggle and see everyone. <laughs> you want your little blanket on you. Hey. Okay, you can go back to sleep. Everyone understands. You're a spoiled baby. He, it is like he keeps peeping to see who's online. I know I'm not like a special tree or anything, am I? So I'm not probably as comfy. But I can be snuggly and warm. <laughs> Edie said, I'll come help you move, lol. That way I can keep him. He's so cute. Yeah, they do have sensitive ears. No, he was he was more in the wild, not where you would really see cats generally. Or domestic cats, maybe wild cats, but even so, I was kind of like deep into the bush, so I wouldn't say so, but he was on the road and he at the time he looked like he was really struggling. So that's why I brought him home. But he'll go back today. I'm sure they will take him back to exactly where I got him from. Where is Matilda? She is in the Netherlands with Yvette. And Yvette was just still, was just here before talking to us. So Yvette is going to take him, her, on a ride tomorrow on a bike ride to a Dutch mill. And um,
don't know what he wants to do. But yeah, she's going to go to a Dutch mill tomorrow. Get plenty of photos. Oh, and a beach too. He might have got winded, hit by a car. I'm not sure. He was in the middle of the road. And it was weird, you know, because I didn't care if I got hit by a car. I just got him and I thought that was my thought, you know, just to protect him and make sure he was safe. What are you doing? Hi, Eliza. Can I get on that side? Well, I don't really, I don't really get that many opportunities or anything, but, you know, it's funny how your instincts sort of kick in. Like at the time, all I was was worried about him. I just wanted to get him on the, off the road and safe. He is cute, Deb. He's so cute. What do you want to do? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Judith. I think anyone would do it though, like it's, you'd have to be mad not to really. I just wanted to protect him and make sure he was safe. I just walked out onto the road and just, obviously I looked both ways, um, but just grabbed him. I grabbed his tail when he let me and then I didn't care. I did, didn't care to look what was around. I am a foster mama, Mousy. I'm a foster Mousy. But obviously I looked around because at the time I thought he was a baby and I thought, well, um, look around and see if he has a mum anywhere that may be hurt. He seems to like sitting there. I'm in a really awkward position. Yeah, he seems like he's using all his legs. Everything seems okay. I had a feel around gently with his all his bones and everything and everything felt fine he wasn't squealing or anything about anything you're irish eliza debbie's from south carolina hannah said yeah whoever doesn't save animals in danger don't have a heart it's sad it is sad judah said by the way i put a post on instagram for anyone gone away so I can't see it at the moment I'm trying to be really quiet I want to make sure he feels really comfortable um, Instagram anyone who wants to send Jordan a card to cheer her up on her bed days people have been amazing okay thank you that is so good that's a great idea and Anne said I think he knows you are safe Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Hi, Annie. He could have fell out of a tree. He could have. But see, at that time of day, they're normally asleep. So it's very unusual for him to be jumping up a road, you know. But, yeah, unless he did fall out of a tree because he was snoring. Eliza said he's so cute. Hannah said, what happened to Jordan? Jordan's just had a bad week this week and has been in hospital. And hi, Annie. First time, Reborn said, hi, Annette. Hi, everyone. I miss, I miss you. Jordan or Judith said, she's not feeling well at the moment. 
gonna say the little feet look like hands but small so I do and yes that's right they say that's one thing about these things that's so cute is they actually have thumbs like us so when they do grab onto something um like a biscuit or something it's so cute because they're actually grabbing it Leslie said Jordan can you please send me a private message first time Marie Ellen says sends me some super chat money and said sorry I'd missed your first your last few lives that's okay thank you so much for sharing that thank you so much Jordan said she'll be okay hopefully she can be home soon And I said, what, what's at, ATM is at the moment. Jordan said, I will, Leslie, Instagram or Facebook. I'm really trying to get snuggly in there. And I said, oh, okay, I don't use short language. Eliza said, I'm going to cry. He's super cute. What is he doing? Is he in behind my hair? Anne said, I'm so glad I stopped in. You need to put him in a pillowcase to travel. I've got like a little pet carrier um, and it's got um, some baby nappies in like yeah, cloth nappies yes Judith you've definitely got to show Jordan later yeah I know he needs a name we called him Manny or manual at the beginning because Tiana was trying to learn how to drive a manual And then she called it stall because she kept stalling the car. Um, but of course, you know, we can't really name it since we're going to send it back. She's going to want one though, yeah. I think he's trying to sleep. He's napping on my shoulder. You can see just above his nose there. There's like a little white spot and that's like a scar or something. How close can I bring you without annoying you too much? So you can just see his scar there. Oh, Lorraine, I'm glad you didn't miss us. I found this little guy last night. What do you want to do? You want to snuggle back in there again? I felt, I felt, um, maybe it could be. I felt it. It didn't appear to be broken. Everything appeared fine, but. I know he doesn't seem to be using it very much, does he? What do you want to do? What do you think about his breathing? Do you think that's okay? He seems happy enough. It's a sugar glider possum. Oh my god, how freaking cute. Thanks, Eliza. I'm trying to be... Yeah, he does seem fine. 
I'm trying to be so gentle and quiet. I try not to disturb him too much. <laughs> Okay, so we've gone to sleep in my hair. He's so cute, I know. It's so hard to say that I've got to say goodbye to it. Sorry, I'm not talking too loud. Precious said he may be tiny, tiny bit stressed, but he loves you. He knows you saved him. I think so too. He needs a pouch. He needs a dark place. You took a picture too. Little one. I've got this sort of like pouched here. So if he, if he really wants darkness, he can go in there and it's dark and warm. But he seems to want to be up higher, doesn't he? I cannot read what you guys are writing now. <laughs> I'm in such an awkward position. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to call him Jordan for the morning. Because he's like a little inspiration and he's going to get to go to hospital too. And Jordan can be a boy's or a girl's name. So we don't know if he's a boy or a girl. So let's call him or her Jordan. Say hello to Jordan, everyone. Hey, Jordan. Everyone wishes you well. And you can go back into the wild today to all your friends. Okay, as long as you're well. Get you checked out first. The things we do for love. Yes, this is Jordan. Maybe a hip's not working right. That's correct too. We don't know, do we? Lorraine says, hi, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. You'd have to be like one of the most loved wild animals at the moment. I'm going to make Judith cry. I'm going to make myself cry. He seems to be more on one side as possible. But he doesn't, he's not fussing or anything. Like when I touched his limbs and everything, everything seemed fine. He wasn't crying or acting like anything hurt. I moved everything. I moved all of his joints around and that. Little Jordan... You need to work out what you want to do. I know you probably want some darkness, but you'll get it soon. You'll get it really soon. Hannah said, Annette, sis, I don't think he is comfortable because he keeps changing direction to sleep no well obviously he wouldn't be this isn't a natural environment for him so that's all right he's just here for camera and he'll get plenty of rest after I leave that's for sure he is so cute and said they don't as they can be a target. First time said someone needs to sculpt Jordan in silicon so we can all have him. Wouldn't that be awesome? I'm maybe I should take some really good pictures today. I don't want to fuss with him too much, but take some really good pictures. I've got someone that actually um is a sculptor and I could give her everyone may know Jade Warner. She's um a friend of mine and maybe I could um Gives her some pictures. Maybe she could do it. Or maybe Laurie. Where's Laurie? We need to find Laurie. 
precious blessing said, but they do pull away if something hurts. It didn't seem to pull away. Lorraine said, that's amazing. He is so quiet with you. He is quiet. Eliza said, you're so nice to take care of him. You can come back down in here. It's a little mini pouch. See that? It's a mini pouch. And he's definitely not comfortable. That face. You'd buy one, yes. Let's see if we can get you comfy in this little blankie thing. Come here. Can we get you up there? Come on. You need to let go. Let go. Wasn't really happy with that, was he? It's like, no, I don't want to let go. I like this place right here. Hmm. Okay. All right. He said, I just like playing like that. It's not a wombat, unfortunately. It's a possum, a sugar glider possum. Can you, can you almost see how soft he is? By the way, my fingers go right into his fur. He is so soft. Yeah, what if he wants to go that far? No, he's all right. He'll go this morning. He's fine. Little guy, I think he just wants like a nice place to sort of snuggle. I'll go like this for a bit. I found him on the side of the road. Well, in the middle of the road, actually. You can feel him, Hannah. And um, he looked like he was in trouble, so I took him home, and I'm off to take him to the wildlife hospital this morning probably what's the time now it is 7 44 in the next hour so he's rooted beautifully he is it's lovely to see you too forest he has been letting me sort of snuggle with him all night <laughs> he's just He's completely upside down there, but he's really snuggling. I'm going to move again. Sorry, Jordan. Here's Jordan. Oh. You really should go back in your little cage now and let me get ready so I can get ready to take you. Up off there. I'm going to see if he'll walk into the cage. Do you want a little bit more water? Whoops, okay. <laughs> Okay, he is just like completely grasped onto my, me. You have to let go of me if you want to do that. Okay. He's like totally hooked on there.
if you let go with your little feet here, there we go, there we go, we got him. Okay. Now you got my ring. There we go. That'll be a little bit better. Because we can keep you hidden in there. And it's a little bit more comfy. I will. I will take pictures of him before he leaves. For sure. So I'll leave now so I can get plenty of pictures of him and then let him have a sleep before he has to get into the car. Okay, so you can say goodbye to everyone. Say goodbye to everyone. Say thank you for wishing me well. And I'm going to go to the animal hospital today and I'm going to be taken back to my family. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye, Jordan. Say bye. Say, Jordan, say goodbye to everyone. And say, just like Jordan, I'm a little fighter and I'm going to go and I'm going to go back to my, my home. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today on this last minute surprise surprise with you guys. I just couldn't I just couldn't not share it with you. I just couldn't because I know a lot of you guys want to see Australian animals and they're not easy to come by in general unless I was going to a, a zoo or some kind of wildlife reserve or something. So this is like a an opportunity that I couldn't let go. So thank you for joining me. And don't forget, I'll put some pictures on my Facebook so you can all see and we'll have to send some to um, some of our sculpting artists. So hopefully that they could make us one. Seems to like to want to chew on my necklace there. Bye, Jordan. Animals are everything to you. And I'm glad. I'm hoping that it take a little bit of the mind off your pain and everything at the moment. Yes, I'm going to show Laurie. I'll show Laurie. I'll definitely show Laurie. And I'll tell her to watch this too so she can get some ideas maybe of the, the shaping and everything. But I'll take pictures. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining me and Jordan today. Bye, Annie. Bye, Hannah. Bye, Jordan. One last goodbye. Oh, see, he's going now. He's like, oh, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Hi, Lorna. Sorry, I've got to go now, but thank you for popping in. And hi, bye to you. Bye, Jordan. Say bye. His name is Jordan. Bye, Edie. Bye, Astral. Bye, Jordan and Judith. Bye, Lorraine. Bye, Annie. He is a cute sugar glider. Bye, precious blessings. All right, everyone, I'll see you on Tuesday. Hannah said I'm going to keep on watching the live for rem reminding me about this cute animal. Love you, sis. Bye, safe journey, journey and good luck and get well. Thank you. Bye, Forrest. Okay, guys, see ya. Thanks for joining me today. Love you all. Bye.